Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to take a quick look at the dashboards and analytics on what I believe are the two best prop firms currently right now, and that is FTMO and my Forex funds. So unless you have an account with both of them, it's very, very difficult to compare. All you're doing is taking other people's words for it or what you've seen on YouTube. But I'm going to do a direct comparison because I have an account with both of them now as you show exactly what you get on the dashboards and the metrics and how you can use that to hopefully improve your trading performance. And at the end of it, we'll be able to see who's got the best dashboards. A lot of prop firms all claim to have the best one right now. And I can tell you at the end of this one who I think's got the best dashboard. So this is the landing page of my Forex Funds dashboard. And you can see, start off, it's got a lot of information that's quite relevant. Obviously, you've got the starting balance of the account. So we see what, what program we're on. It's got a current balance and therefore able to work out the profit. And also tells us what phase of the evaluation we're in. So currently I'm in phase one. And then we have the equity and balance curve. So we can see as we're trading throughout the challenge, we can see uh, hopefully our equity and balance are both going up. But obviously what we do see is the equity sometimes is significantly less than the balance. And that's obviously when we have a trade that is running in a negative and just has a, an impact on what the actual charts will show. So this next section here, it shows us what my current daily profit and loss is. I currently own a very small profit, but I've not traded that much, as well as then showing us what our maximum allowed drawdown on the day is. Now we're allowed a 5% max drawdown. So for this account, it's $5,000. Now what is quite strange is that my profit and loss is showing at 96 pounds, but I haven't actually got 96 pounds plus the 5,000. I think it works on when the actual rollover happens on the actual platform itself. So although we have some profits in the day, we may not actually get that allocated to our drawdown. On the next section, overall equity stop out. Obviously that's $12,000 on this account. So anything below 87,990, my account will go into violation. Currently I have no violations detected. Now it's very easy to show the drawdown, max and daily. We may have certain violations around some of the trading rules now. I think there's only a few that would actually be a violation on here, currently on the, the hedging side of things, and there's a few others. But again, because I'm not actually worried about too many of those, I'm just doing very, very basic trading, I can see I've got no violations detected. Next session, we can see that we have 10 days of our trading target to achieve. I've done four so far, and what the profit target is and my actual profit. So again, a long way to go in the profit target, but I'm not too worried about this right now. And the next part of the report really just does show a breakdown on the day, what we've traded and what the profits are. And right at the bottom, we can see all of our trade history. So again, loads of relevant information if you want to go back and use this as your trading journal. But again, overall, it's very, very basic. And to me, it doesn't show a huge amount of data we can actually use for analysis on our trading. So if we look at FTMO to start with, very similar with the equity curve. They only show the total balance. They don't actually show where the equity is. And again, I'm not too worried about that personally. And again over here we have when we started on this particular account. So for me this was the funded account started on the 13th of September. Tells me when those profit splits are and goes through the basic things of the account size. Again just looking at current results. So my permitted loss on the day 7,235 because I've made a very small profit today. And again max permitted loss that is the 10% drawdown plus the total profits made so far. So we can clearly see our trading objectives here around max daily loss and max loss. And again, none of these have come close so far. So I've got ticks in the boxes, so I'm passing those, which is great. I think this is where FTMO starts to become a little bit better because it actually now shows us a bit more of the performance. It shows us how many trades we've done, how many lots, win rate percentage um, and the expectancy, average profits and average loss. So we can really start seeing, yeah, so if you look at our reward to risk ratio, we can see here on my particular account, Although I've only actually had one loss, which was about half a percent, so the £753, my winners haven't been massive, but they've been quite consistent. We can see that my reward to risk ratio is 0.22, which is not great. We want to be getting that above one, ideally up to two. Nice breakdown here of daily summary, just telling us how many trades, how many lots, and what our profit or loss was. The trading journal, yeah, just logging all of the trades. That's almost like a straight extract out of MetaTrader, so nothing that's going to jump out and say amazing things there. But this to me is where FTMO really has the edge, really has it able to tell the trader exactly what they're doing in their trading. Yes, we could take all this analysis out into our trading journal, but it's nice to see it in a graphical format, what we're, whether we have a bias towards buying or selling. So at the moment, the majority of my trades are buys and obviously winning on those more than I'm winning on my selling trades. 
course, I'll see what the majority of the volume is. So if I trade two lots on a trade, therefore that generally is a winning one. That's pretty much my default currently on gold and FTSE, as well as the currency pair. So pretty much that's default for me across two lots. And again, we can see here pretty much on the symbols, the predominantly I'm trading gold and most successful in gold. So if I was to look at this on a longer period of time, whether it's over multiple months or just on this particular uh, month itself, I'd really be able to see what my favorite currency pairs are or my symbols and therefore give more attention or more focus to those. If I'm seeing a currency pair that's losing continually, then I was going to cut out of my trading for maybe the following month or forever if this doesn't really work for me. So it's really clear on a side-by-side -side comparison what is the better of the dashboards and the metrics. And for me, that's FTMO purely because of the level of granular detail it gives around the actual instruments, times of day, and lot sizes. Now, if you're recording that in a spreadsheet yourself, it's very easy to do like a pivot table or some bar charts and get exact information yourself. But a lot of traders don't do that. I've probably guilty of that myself lately. So a lot of people generally rely on what the prop firms are telling you in the dashboard. So it's good practice to go and do your own journaling and your own logging of all your own trades if you do your own metrics and dashboards yourself. But for here, it really is good to be able to see on the dashboards, you've got accurate reporting of the daily drawdown. Now again, as traders, we should be managing our risk and not ever getting close to the 5% daily drawdown. But as we know, some days it just happens and uh, things that away from us or mistakes are made. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below if you want me to do any more similar comparisons like this one. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.